Hello everybody, I mean, yeah, hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be trying something different. We're going to be doing a tutorial, because a few people asked for a tutorial on scoreboards, so yeah. So, first thing you want to do, go to custom size, and I'm going to try to make one on the spot, but we'll see. So, delete the freaking text. Delete the text. And I'll put, like, your main goal on the screen. But first, what you want to do is get a reference picture. So I will be um, cropping this out. Hold on. All right. So we got our picture. This is our reference, I guess. But if you don't have a reference, just look up ESPN or whatever you're trying to do. So I'm going to give you tutorials on all of these I've made so far. So first... You have your image, right? If you want to do the ESPN, first thing I would recommend to do is get shapes. Go to more and get a rectangle like this. Now, you don't have to get a rectangle like that, but it would be nice, I guess. So, the size you're going to want is about this big, but the size doesn't matter as long as it's, like, this long, I guess. So, yeah, first, that's what you want to do. You want to get your box, your first box, and, you know, just color it with, just say, this color. That'll be my color. So, now that you have that box... What you're going to do, would to, would be to actually get a square, I guess. I think that's what I did. I don't know exactly. And once again, line it up. Line it up here. Then you have your square, right? So, from there, size it down a bit. And if you need to, size it back up if you make a mistake. All right, there we go. So we got the box. Now we can make it a bit longer, like so. Boom, we got our box. Now we wanna color this black or gray, but I would say black since the scoreboards are, are normally black. So we wanna duplicate this, bring it over here, change the color so I know it's something different. Then we also want to duplicate this and bring it over here. Hold on. Yeah, let me put that back into lock. This time, make it a bit shorter. Now, we want to get another rectangle, like this maybe. And cut it down. Actually, no, you want to make it super long. So, but you also want to make it black. So, like that much. Well, no. Get it to how much, and then color it black. So then you have that. Um, if you want to have a ticker, or that bottom part where it says ESPN, what you do again, get one of these, boom. Put it way under, and match it up with that side. Once again, if you want it to be kind of small, oh my gosh, if you can just line it up. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but what you can do now is go ahead and add your ESPN logo, which I will be doing, so I'll cut. So we got the ESPN logo, I'm going to move this freely, and size it down a bit. But really, you can put whatever you want in this area where I have, like, ranked matchup. You can put whatever you want. So, for the harder part is, or the harder part, like I said, is getting your logo. So, let's do that. I used InShot to get the logos and, um, whatchamacallit. I got the logos from Google, 
and then I use the uh, cutout feature on InShot. So like that. Now, here's the part. You don't want it to look like this where it's like sitting over. So what you want to do, order and sit it down like that. Move it over maybe. But the rule is it cannot be over the any of the squares. So yeah. And let me just adjust the color to and then we're just going to copy. So then you have all that. And personally, the font I used for this, I think was Harmon, if I'm correct. Let me check, because you definitely don't want to use something too weird. So, yeah. Um, Harmon, Harmon, Harmon. Harmon. Just color it to white. Once again duplicate all right so for the timeouts actually no you just want to get your numbers back your rankings if you don't have a ranking then you don't have to do it like that or you don't have to put a ranking it's just if you're only ranked but what you want to do also is get your rank number 1 through 25 put it to Harmon Put it over to that side don't make it too stretched out like make it close at least to this like that if you need to size it down you can do that which I'm gonna do so yeah we're also gonna put a record once again like just for example six and a because that's the first that came to my mind. It's also right below me. 6 and 0. Oh. Put that right there. Boom. Duplicate. On the other side. Boom. Alright, now another kind of hard part is the timeout thing. So what you want to do, go to shapes, then more. And get this. Hold on. This shape. It'll look like this when you spawn it in, I guess. Or spawn, whatever. Load it in. And you want to size this down a lot. But, you also want to use the rotate feature. And the app I'm using, guys, is Adobe Express. So, yeah. So, size it down some more if you need. It'll look better when it's in the transparent. But right now, since I have a white background, it's not going to show up. But yeah, duplicate, move it to this side, boom, boom, boom. So now you have your scoreboard. There's also one more thing. You can, or you don't have to, put this little white box here. It's just for the first and ten and all that stuff. Also... Don't make this super big, because you can make it, like, super big. And if you make it too big, it's going to be, like, getting in the way of everything. Unless you have it at the bottom, which is what I recommend to do. So, yeah. If you want to add that box, you can. All you have to do, duplicate. We can order it. Order it all the way, I guess. Color it to white. And then size it down a bit. So it's like right there. And boom. That's how you do the ESPN logo. I mean, not logo, scoreboard. Now we'll move on to CBS. Or if you don't like that, you can do this. All I did was the same stuff except... I added a really long white line under it and then this skinny black piece with like college name day presented by blank and then these two arrows. So if you want, you can do that. But the simpler way is the one that I just showed you. All right. Now, CBS. CBS is a lot more simple. I already have it built. So what you're wanna, 
gonna do is you're gonna look up CBS logo and get a cutout, I guess. Or just do whatever you want. You're also, once again, going to get the rectangle shape. And you're gonna copy that. Here's the part. You have to get a square with a darker shade of that color and I'll show you how to do that. Once you get your color for this, let's just say it's blue or the color that I have right now, I can move it up and down on this thing. And the higher you go up, the darker it gets. So the lower you go, the lighter, basically. And then there's also just copy and paste. All of these. Boom. Because once you get... The square and the rectangle's gone. I mean, yeah, gone. Then all you have to do is just keep copying. Boom, that's all you had to do. And then just add three lines. And for the line shape, I'm pretty sure it's also a preset. So if you go to shapes, there will be a line and you can just make it thicker. So yeah, that's how you do that. And the same thing here, just add the logos, right? So now that you have that down, let's move on to a bit, I guess, harder. So you can have a reference photo, by the way. Um, this one is probably, I think, second most hardest. But here we go. So first, you want to get a certain shape and it has to be certain you go to shapes then more then the rectangle with the outline on it so you can put an outline on your thing and whenever you get it about to this shape oh shoot YouTube notification all right once you get it to about this shape you can size it down a bit boom just like that you can make the thing thicker. I mean, yeah, border thickness. What do I have it on here? Eight. Eight, that's fine. Eight. Make the border a bit white. Actually, no. Make the middle like that. And then the border white. Size it up a bit. Now, this one is featured on... I'm Grego's video, which I will link if I can, but it's on his video. So basically, once you get that shape, you duplicate, boom, shakalaka bing bang. You can get another one of these squares, boom, and make the color of the border the same. If you get what I'm saying, let me try to make this make sense. I don't recommend doing this one, but if you're wanting to do it and you think it looks cool, you can do it. But this one doesn't really matter. So what you want to do, I guess, order it like to right here, I guess. Like that. And then get this middle shape to be black. Where you can put the timeouts for each team, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, yeah, let me delete this. So for each team, you can put like... Oh no, zero timeouts remaining. And then on the other side, there's also zero. So you can do that. Here's the tricky part that I'll have to go over here for. So now that you have that down, right, you get, once again, the rectangles, except this time get the outlined rectangles, which are just the same, except it's not a square. Once you get about this shape, where you put two of these rectangles together and put one below it, that's what you're going to basically do. But if you want to take these little bars away, you can and substitute for the little thing I had above a while ago. But if you don't want to do that and you want to make your life easier, then I recommend using this. But anyways, you put your text. If you need to add a rank, 
you can add that to the side like over here that way but you also want to look up the nickname of a team if you don't know the team's nickname so once you look up the nickname of a team or your team that you're trying to make you need to add this little thing and I'll show you this real quick so I can demonstrate so this font is called flood studio another YouTube, uh, YouTube notification flood studio and you want to put it on top of your logo, which your logo needs to be sideways, like that. So, I don't know if you would want to do this, but if you want to, you can do it, because I just showed you how. But it might not be the best way to show you how. If you want to learn better about this one, go to I'm Grego's video. I will link it if I can. So yeah, I will be working on more scoreboards, so, yeah. Anyways. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you guys. And if it didn't, tell me. I'll help you with anything. Um, yeah. Alright. Signing out. Icy. Bye.